Escaping fragility. My sister went to a party the other day. It was a friend's birthday party. I guess it was all girls. And these are all probably like tw or mid 20s, maybe even early 30s. All attractive females living in Austin, Texas. Now, they were taking these group photos and she was saying how they became so obsessed with editing the photo that like collectively as a group, they all started editing and then I guess sending the best one to each person and then like obsessing on how they're gonna post it. I mean, I wasn't there and this is kind of just secondhand. I'm hearing this and trying to visualize it. And she's talking about how like they were just on their phone a lot of, and like, and I'm thinking to myself, you are become, you're another species. Further, you must be miserable. Now, this sounds pretty judgmental, and I'm definitely putting my own kind of uh, labels and values on these. You know, I mean, I guess that's what, that's what a judgment is, really. And in a way, it is uh, a judgment. But in another way, if I look at it as a scientist trying to observe, like I'm a biologist or an anthropologist, and I'm observing humans and their natural habitat, <laughs> which is our modern world with technology and phones, whatever, and I'm trying to understand what's happening and maybe the repercussions of that. Well, let's take that perspective. And I believe that if you or society or, I mean, especially this younger generation, man, they, they have so much to contend with. But if you're gonna live your life through your phone, if you're going to remove, literally, you're going to create, how, how do I say this? Like. You're not going to be able to appreciate any moment because even those moments where you're not on your phone, it's like a psychic connection where it's pulling you back to it. You're thinking about it. You, you're looking for opportunities to post things. Like you're by definition living in the future or maybe even the past because you posted something and you want to know how people are responding. It is the worst piece of technology for human psyche and happiness is the, tel is, is the cell phone ever created like Buddha would be is turning in his grave or would be or I don't know how that phrase goes but it's like it's the worst thing for being happy for being in the moment for removing suffering for all those things that a lot of the Buddhism uh, talks about and a lot of other philosophy and and really everything we understand about happiness and anybody that's ever been enlightened or any spiritual teacher or guru or anything they're pretty much always going to tell you in some way you have to try to be in the moment because living in the past or the future is where suffering is. And you can pretty much trace that all the way back down to any suffering you have is always based on something in the past or the future. Like for most of us, if I can just sit here and I can remove everything from my mind, I'm not suffering. If I go to the past or the future or I become afraid or this or that or I start thinking about money or this, like I create suffering, okay? So the phone is literally the a, a torture device for your phone that most people are addicted to and they don't have any idea what's going on. And they're just going from one dopamine spike to another. They are addicts. And as we know with any addiction, the more you use it, the more you need to use it to get that same high, to get that same effect. And the more dangerous it becomes, the longer and more you use that thing. So it's just purely this video is purely something to hopefully wake you up to your phone use. How are you using your phone, okay? Are you mindlessly using it? Is your device using you? Are notifications on? Are you thinking about how you should use your phone less? Are you finding ways to mitigate? Are you putting it in airplane mode? Are you putting it away? Are you, you know, giving it, when you go to a friend's house, are you leaving it in your car, things like that? Like I said, most people are completely unaware of how they use their phone and how it uses them and how technology uses them and monetizes them, et cetera, okay? They're completely unaware of the negative effects and most people don't even question, like, should I use this differently? Should I use it less? It, they just literally do nothing. And that is a very scary thing for the future of humanity. So, call to action. How are you using your phone? Think about it, find ways to mitigate it, turn it off, put it away as much as possible. And yeah, I mean, 
humans are going to branch off <laughs> into two different species, but I'll say that for another video.